Welcome to the Daily Word for the Feast of St. Francis Xavier. Today's reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 20. Jesus said to the disciples, Go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. The one who believes and is baptized will be saved, but the one who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. By using my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and proclaimed the good news everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by the signs that accompanied it. This is the word of the Lord. Lay down and evangelize. St. Francis Xavier was a Jesuit missionary. He is also seen as the patron saint of foreign missions and known as the Apostle of the Indies and Apostle of Japan. He was born on the 7th of October 1506 in the family of Xavier in the Kingdom of Napoli in Spain. When he was young, he studied at the University of Paris and obtained doctorate in 1528. He began teaching in the University of Paris since he was 24. Being a university professor is a guarantee of a bountiful life in the eyes of others and part of a group which is successful, glorified, and reputable. However, the words in this young professor's mind were, For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? Therefore, St. Francis Xavier lived with the poorest people wherever he went and shared food and daily necessities with them. He spent incalculable time to serve the poor and the sick, especially lepers. He always sacrificed his sleeping time in serving them, and even did not have the time to pray the daily offices. Yet we can know from the letters he wrote that he was always filled with happiness. In verse 15 of the Gospel reading, Jesus said to the disciples, Go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. Here, we see that St. Francis Xavier was willing to humble himself and entered into the community, spreading the gospel of Jesus and care for others. Let us compare that to today's reading and reflect on ourselves. Have we laid down ourselves to spread the gospel to others? Moreover, we do not only use our words, but also match our words to our deed, so that we can do what the reading says. These signs will accompany those who believe. By using his name, they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes in their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. In the present time, the things mentioned seem to be distant from us, but we can see from St. Francis Xavier that he did exactly what Jesus said to be evangelization. He lived among the poor and shared food and daily necessities with them. He also healed and served the sick. 
Are we able to enter our own communities to respond to Jesus' teachings today? Maybe it is not for us to pick up snakes in our hands today, but what do we act out? What words do we say? Who do we live with so that they can experience the presence of Jesus Christ? When Jesus parted with his disciples, he gave us the great commission. How should we respond to this mission given by Jesus Christ in the present time? Let us have a time of reflection. We understand from the reading and the life of Saint Francis Xavier that we need to enter the community. How should we enter our community today? When we understand that we need to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to those in need, do we also sense His presence in our life? Let us pray, Almighty God. We thank you for letting us sense that. We do not spread the gospel loneliness, but to first have your presence in our life, and to inspire us to sense your acts on us. Grant us faith to share your blessings with others, and to let us enter into the lives of others, to accompany them through their weakness, helplessness, and difficulty. We are willing to be like Saint Francis Xavier. And know that you, Lord, will give us the strength we need, and be with us at any time. We pray that you will give us this faith to share the gospel with others. Amen.